Hey guys, welcome to Tool Optics. Today we're going to have a look at the Ryobi 1500W STS Rotary Hammer Drill. This drill comes with a slotted drive system chuck, 5 joules of impact power and 3 mode settings. It also came with a plastic box, nothing too fancy, it's a pretty basic box, not very well built at all and I really struggled to get the bits out um, of that box as you can see. Eventually I managed to pry them loose. In the box you get a chisel bit, two chisel bits and uh, three masonry bits, a size 8, a size 10 and a size 12. You also get some lubricant which is just some grease to put in the motor. Uh, you get a dust cover, an instruction manual and a specialized tool for getting the plastic cover off the top of the, of the drill. The instruction manual said to lubricate the bits before you put them in, so I put a bit of grease on those bits. You can see the slotted drive system, they're special type of bits, they're not your normal uh, drill bits, they've got kind of a slot that goes down the one side and then two shorter slots that are held in place with ball bearings. The instruction manual said to use the lubricant in the motor, so it's got a specialized tool that you just use on the top. And you just unscrew it in an anti-clockwise direction until the cap comes off. You'll see inside that there's a fair amount of grease already inside the tool, but I added a bit more on the rotary arm. It's a good idea to lubricate your tools. I hear of many stories of people going to the hardware store, bringing back their tools, saying it's failed only to find out that the, um, the worker in the store has asked them did they oil the tool or did they put grease in the tool and the person said no. So look after your tools, uh, read the instruction manuals and your tools will look after you. Changing bits on the tool is really easy. All you do is you pull back the collar, slide the bit in and then release the collar and the bit is in place. To remove the bit, slide back the collar and just reverse the process. The tool comes with a depth gauge uh, so that you can set the depth that you want to drill into. Let's just say you're drilling through this layer of brick and you don't want to go the whole way through. You would just insert this depth gauge uh, bar which is marked, it's got uh, measurements on it. You just set it to however deep you want the drill to go, tighten it in place and then when you're drilling that depth gauge will hit the wall and your drill bit won't go any further. The drill has three modes. Very important uh, to notice this because some rotary hammer drills only have two modes. This has three modes that are adjustable via the two switches. The switch at the back changes between drilling only and hammer drill. Here it is in hammer only mode and you use this for just chiseling maybe lifting tiles or chiseling into concrete. This is the hammer drill mode where it actually where it drills and hammers at the same time and this is the drill only mode. The tool also comes with an adjustable handle for stability. Um, you really do need to use both hands when using this tool because it's extremely heavy. To adjust the handle just unscrew it. You can rotate it on the collar when you've got it at the desired angle, just screw it back in place and, it, and you're good to go. There's a dust cover that you can use, say you're going into brick, slide the dust cover over the bit and it'll stop dust from going into the tool chuck. Here's the tool in action. There's nothing like a rotary hammer drill to just go through concrete like butter. Well, 
Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment or consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video. God bless.